So, uh, sisters and brothers, regarding our vision statement, although you have already received it, read it through the WhatsApp, Facebook, and also now the card, I would still like to give you a very uh, brief uh, introduction for the sake of clarity. So, uh, as the new PP, I simply continue the mission of Father Andrew, which is to build up the church, a missionary church of missionary disciples. So as far as our church is concerned, what is one thing, the one word is evangelization. It's always to create an evangelized and evangelizing church as a church and as a Christians to become in missionary disciples, that is the goal or unit with God. That is the center. That means we can have all sort of activities, prayers, and devotions. At the end of the day, you ask yourself and ask myself, have I grown in effective missionary discipleship? If I've not grown, then we miss the point, we lose the focus. So these eight habits uh, will give you the vision, the focus, and the goals, and the direction in your daily Christian living, in your own spiritual journey. And this vision, the focus, the goals, and directions, they are very clear. We try to, uh, my life is a search for clarity. Eh? Clear, specific, simple and attainable and measurable. So, our strategic plan to achieve our vision uh, of becoming an effective missionary disciples or evangelizing church is by focusing on renewal and growth on four different levels. And the very first level is individual. So even right now, sisters and brothers, because of the pandemic, you don't have all this so-called formation and so on, except through online. On your own, you are still able to live the eight habits, daily prayer, Bible reading, and so on, in your daily life. That is individual. And this is a call to return to the basic essentials of faith. So, living the eight habits will make your Christian living meaningful, purposeful, and effective. They are effective in healing and transforming the whole of your person, physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual. And they are effective when it comes to witnessing and faith sharing. Living faithfully, when you live faithfully and intensely, the eight habits can lead you from here, from here, the slavery of Egypt, slavery of Egypt, uh, uh, to lead you there, the blessing of the promised land, from here to there. The second level, as you know, is the BCs. Most of our BCs are already stagnant. And I asked Father Andrew, how was the situation? I said, I'm not referring to the current pandemic stage that we know before that. And he's, what he said, it's like a dead horse, you know. That's a very strong word, sir. He's like a dead horse. So we stay focused on renewing the BCs and the blessed. It's very important here to achieve our vision. We need a very well-organized and effective parish organization with effective structure, effective system, effective ministries. It is not well-organized, no focus, lack of clarity. We have a lot of misunderstanding. A lot of misunderstanding. Is it your responsibility? Is this my overpower? And so on. It created a lot of misunderstanding, confusion, and it got hurts in relationship. So all this takes time. It has to be effective. Of course, we have the family. 
and home visitation is one of my top priorities. We need to visit one another. Not only I need to visit you, and you can come to my parish office, house also for a drink also can. Among ourselves, BEC, we need to visit one another. So family and home visitation. Right now, we have 584 families registered with the BEC. So I, maybe, I don't know, I may need one and a half years eh, to cover all. So be patient, be patient. So Father, you say you are coming until now, you're not coming. You know? So if you're not patient enough, Father, you call me, Father, come now. Huh? Take around the time. Huh? So let us stay focused on this priority and be blessed. Huh? Later on, there will be ongoing teachings and formations and all this. So everything in your life can come under these eight habits. Huh? So all the details huh, will come later in the teachings and formation. Huh? We try to reach out to all of you through the different forms of the parish multimedia ministries. So, this renewal of growth, don't be afraid. Wow, very difficult. Don't be afraid. It's a process. It's a journey. But as they're saying, the journey of a thousand miles begin with the first step. Begin with the first step. So, it's important to keep this statement card in the house. You need to remember. You're reminded. So, sisters and brothers, I would like to call upon you to respond to this core of the dead habits. Let it be a kind of new covenant you make with God today. You will live a very meaningful, purposeful, and effective, blessed Christian life. You will experience the joy of salvation, the new wine of Jesus. If you remember the message of the Archbishop Julian in his uh, Sauvignon uh, magazine, he said, now you have a Rededicate the church to God. The next step is rededicate your lives to the Lord. And my offer you is this habit. Your life. The church, we have done that already, the physical church. It's your life. Rededicate. Let it be a kind of new covenant with God. You will experience the effectiveness of your Christian living. Amen. Thank you.